Hey dudes, my name's Blako, and recently I've been working in Sano style on my new VR game, so I wanted to show what I've done so far. Alright, so first of all, I want to get rid of the blocky hands, since it messes with the vibe, and ain't nobody like when the vibe gets messed with, which I've got a few options. I could definitely start from scratch and make some brand new hands. If you build it, nerds will come. Or I could buy some hands on the interwebs with fat stacks. But I don't really want to drop bingies on that, so I'm gonna go with option number three to save some time and monies. Which is to take those blocky hands, which are MIT licensed, and transform them into something that fits the game. Which partly is because I don't feel like doing a custom rigging since the rigging for these hands worked pretty well. So I popped open Blender and started modifying the hands to be a little smoother. Which the topology isn't ideal since it's all triangles where quads would be a lot easier to work with. I could try to quadify the mesh but I just worked with the triangles and I think it's definitely going to work out. So this is what they ended up looking like in game which still doesn't fit the vibe since they don't have a texture. So I popped open Blender again and set up some seams to UV unwrap the mesh so I could design a texture for it. Textures can be pretty easy or pretty hard depending on how well you unwrap your mesh. I didn't do a great job for the hands, but I knew my texture was gonna be pretty straightforward, so it worked out. Right now my hands are simple looking, but I'm gonna add a few things later for checking your status and whatnot in the game. Alright, cool. So I'm pretty happy with how the hands turned out. I might do a second pass closer to when I'm finished with the game, but it'll work for now. You know what won't work for now? This magic cylinder, since it looks questionable. What's that under your bed? Uh, probably a, uh, a uh, guitar. And since I'm digging, it obviously needs to look like a shovel. So I popped open Blender again, and this time I just started from scratch, since shovels are pretty simple to model and I didn't want to part with my hundies, since that's no fundies. It's basically just made out of some cylinders, and then on the shovel head, I added some spiky boys to make it more tactical. And like the hands, I UV unwrapped the shovel to make a tactical texture for it, which was pretty simple texture, but sometimes simple is a lot better than not simple. And this is what it ended up looking like in game, which I don't know about you, but I think that looks a lot better. Okie dokie, so now that I have some new hands and a fancy shovel, I wanted my digging to feel more like digging, and less like I'm deleting cubes. So first of all, I wanted little dirt clots to fall when you break a dirt block, so I just added a particle system with some dirt chunks that activate when you smash blocks with your fancy shovel. But wait, that's not all. I also wanted a dirt cloud to appear as well, since I thought it'd spice it up a bit. Finally, to top it all off, I added some spatial sound effects that play some rock noises to be a little more immersive. Okay, so throw all that together, and this is what it ended up looking like. Whoop whoop, I think it turned out pretty cool. The dirt could use some updating at some point, but overall it's coming along pretty well. If you didn't see the previous video when I started this game from scratch, check that out. Or if you want to check out my other video where I made a Game Boy game, that'd be cool too. Alright dudes, that's all I got. See ya!